Uh, well, I'm, I'm Stephen. Uh, prior to the operation, I was virtually bent in half, near enough. Uh, the bottom of the rib cage was touching my pelvic bone. I was having trouble breathing. Um, I, I didn't have a clue what was going on. I was put on to Miss Iona, Iona Collins eventually. Um, a fracture was found and the procedure was done. I felt great, after, you know, virtually soon after the operation. And that was it. You know. And to this day, I've noticed a hell of a difference. I'm Fiona Collins, I'm a consultant spinal surgeon and I work at Morrison Hospital in the spinal unit. This procedure has been carried out in England in a couple of centres but this is the first centre in Wales that has carried out the spine jack procedure. We've now performed two cases to date and both of them have been resounding immediate successes. Um, I treated Mr Wood, who's sitting next to me, back in January, a month ago. Um, uh, he has rheumatoid arthritis and uh, unfortunately he suffered a fracture due to osteoporosis which is um, a quite, fairly common association with rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, he's tried lots of different painkillers and uh, by the time he got to me he was um, pretty much at the end of his tether. Um, he had a difficult management problem because the um, bones in osteoporosis are quite soft and that's why they have a tendency to break with, um, without much trauma at all and um, so I knew that by trying to fix this fracture um, I had a problem a high complication rate from uh, anything that I put in could potentially cause problems as well because it's much stronger than soft bone and so things like screws in the spine can do something called cheese wiring out of bone so it's, uh, it's something that I, I thought would be difficult surgery um, so we tried some injection work and uh, that's uh, didn't really help us. It, it helped us from a diagnostic point of view. It uh, convinced me that the pain was definitely coming from the osteoporotic fracture, but it didn't help us treatment-wise, so it was all very disappointing. Um, and then I'd heard about um, um, a procedure called a spine jack. And the spine jack looks like a, a miniature version of a car jack and uh, it's about four millimetres when it goes in and it expands up to just under two centimetres and it goes in under an anaesthetic and then takes about half an hour um, for the procedure and uh, people go home the same day. And uh, I thought, well, it's quite good because you can get over your body weight of um, strength by trying to pull a fracture apart and uh, try and realign it. And uh, as Mr Wood was uh, very unhappy about the shape of his back as well as the pain in his back and wanted to be straighter, I felt that this was probably the best bet at uh, achieving both a spinal correction and pain management, pain relief, without the need of major surgery. And if it didn't work, we always had the major surgery to turn back to. Turn back to. Mm. So um, that's what we did, and uh, the procedure went extremely smoothly. Um, so there's, um, there is an established procedure called vertebroplasty um, where cement is it's like polyfiller, it's injected into bone and uh, it makes the bone um, stronger, like reinforced concrete. And uh, that, for some reason, it's because it stabilises the bone, it's very effective at helping with pain from fractures, but it doesn't restore the height of the fracture, so the fracture still remains compressed. Um, there is another procedure called kyphoplasty and that is where a little plastic balloon is um, put into the fracture and then you blow it up and the balloon tries to open up the fracture. But unfortunately if you put a lot of pressure in the balloon, the balloon pops and so that's the end of that. So um, that's why we went for the spine jack because this doesn't pop. You can put a lot of force across this um, and uh, that's the advantage of it, that's why we've done it. And then once we put the spine jack in, then you do the conventional cementing around it.